in an African village where the rhythm of drums filled the air and laughter echoed through the streets, there lived a wealthy grandfather named Juma. Juma was a man of great stature and even greater kindness. Beloved by all who knew him for his generosity and wisdom. As Juma grew older, he began to ponder the legacy he would leave behind for his family. One day, he summoned his grandson, Chima, to his side and bestowed upon him a priceless gift. A small pot adorned with intricate carvings. This is the pot of wealth, Juma explained, his voice serious and heavy. It has been passed down through our family for generations, and now it is yours to cherish and protect. With each wish you make, the pot will grant it. But beware, for with each wish, a life will be taken in return. Wide-eyed with wonder, Chima accepted the pot from his grandfather's hands, his heart brimming with excitement at the prospect of such power but also scared of what his grandfather meant by a life being lost. Little did he know that the pot of wealth would soon become a source of conflict and tragedy for his family and the entire village. Chima held the pot of wealth tightly, feeling its ancient energy course through his hands. His grandfather's warnings echoed in his mind, but the allure of wealth and prosperity was too strong for him to resist. Juma had advised him to speak to the pot and add a drop of milk each time he made a wish, ensuring the pot's magic remained potent. Eager to see if the legend was true, Chima decided to test it that very night. In the dim glow of his heart, Chima whispered his first wish into the pot. I wish for enough gold to buy my family a new home. He poured a drop of milk into the pot and almost instantly, gold coins began to overflow from it. His eyes widened in amazement and greed. News of Chima's newfound wealth spread quickly through the village. His family moved into a grand new home and Chima began living a life of luxury. He continued to make wishes, each time dropping milk into the pot and receiving riches beyond his wildest dreams. However, Chima noticed an airy pattern. Each time he made a wish, someone in the village would mysteriously die. The villagers also noticed how the number of deaths in the village were increasing with each month, a life being lost. At first, the villagers did not connect the deaths to Chima's sudden prosperity. But as the fatalities increased, whispers of suspicion grew louder. Families mourned their lost loved ones while Chima remained oblivious, consumed by his own greed. His wife and children, once the center of his world, were now mere shadows in the background of his lavish lifestyle. One evening, Chima, drunk with both power and alcohol, stumbled into his usual drinking spot. He bragged loudly about his wealth, and in his drunken state, he let it slip the secret of the pot of wealth. My pot, he slurred, grant me everything I wish for. Just a drop of milk and voila, riches beyond measure. His friends exchanged sly glances. They had been envious of Chima's fortune for some time, and now they saw an opportunity to claim it for themselves. That night, they hatched a devious plan to steal the pot from Chima and make wishes themselves. The next morning, Chima woke up to find the pot missing. 
panic gripped him as he searched frantically, but the pot was nowhere to be found. Meanwhile, his friends had taken the pot to a secluded part of the village and they began making their own wishes. They too became wealthy overnight, but the village's death toll continued to rise at an alarming rate as they did not know of the consequence of a life being lost for every wish granted. Sadly, Chima's firstborn son lost his life as a result of one of the wishes made. This tore Chima's family apart after he told his wife the truth. She blamed him for them losing their firstborn son. Realizing the extent of his folly, Chima vowed to retrieve the pot and put an end to the suffering he had caused. He tracked down his friends, who by now were reveling in their stolen wealth. A fierce confrontation ensued, but Chima managed to reclaim the pot. Returning to the village, Chima addressed the villagers with a heavy heart. I have wronged you all with my greed and ignorance. He told them about the pot and that the evil that had befell the land was all his doing. He mentioned the people that had stolen the pot and how they had caused the death toll to raise. He beseeched the villagers for forgiveness and he also told them that the pot had also stolen the life of his only son. Chima took the pot to the village's sacred river where he smashed it against a rock, shattering into countless pieces. As the fragments were carried away by the current, a sense of calm returned to the village. The elders were angry about Chima's actions and he was stripped of all his wealth and was sent to live in a secluded area of the village. The thieves were banished for they had caused several people to lose their lives due to their greed. Chima amended his relationship with his family and lived his life helping the villagers that lost their loved ones as a way of repentance. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to support our channel, like, comment, and share. Bye.